So if you look at me. Yeah. <clears throat> Kira, tell me, why did you want to organise this conference? What was it that gave you the inspiration? I think we just feel really passionate about the impact that we've had so far. And it feels like something that any library service can do. So we're just really, really keen to share that with library colleagues across the country. And perhaps you could just tell me, what, what exactly is a Fab Lab? What, why is it a good thing to have in a library? Well, a Fab Lab is a fabrication laboratory where you can access um, 3D printers, laser cutters, CNC routers, not the sort of equipment you might necessarily think about in a library, but actually it's what you do with it that matters. And it's a place of kind of experimentation, you can make lots of things, and it fits just so well with the library ethos because it's open to anybody, people can make things, they can explore, and it's very similar and very aligned with what libraries have been doing around helping people develop their skills, learn, follow their passion, introduce your children to new technology. So it's a really, really natural fit uh, for libraries in the Fab Lab. And this library, um, Fab Lab in Exeter, has gone really well. Have you got plans to take it any further than Exeter? Definitely. So we are, um, we've already taken this to some of our libraries, Fab Lab on the road, so we've um, parceled up bits of our equipment, taken it out um, up to Biddeford in North Devon. We had 120 people that came on Saturday morning to see what it was all about. But we want to get the Fab Lab out to many more libraries, all of our rural libraries. We've got 49 other ones um, in Devon. We don't want it just to be in Exeter. So we've got plans over the next year to look at how we can take the Fab Lab out, put some bits of kit into some different libraries take it out on the road as well as the and that's the whole point is to get it out to get people to kind of they've all heard about 3D printers but actually they want to see them touch them experience them so um, I think that's what we'll be doing over the next 12 months if you had um, the opportunity to give people one piece of advice about setting up a fab lab in their library what would it be I would say two pieces of advice maybe one is to talk to your economy colleagues because that's been so fundamental to our success um, the collaboration with them the funding that they've been able to bring us the other is to start small I think the raspberry pi jams that we do were so fundamental to our thinking so anybody can do raspberry pies they're very easy to run and I think that's a really good foundation to grow the whole maker spirit in the library thank you